Hello, my name is Alan Knapp. I am the brokerage manager for Bates Wharf at Sovereign Harbour Eastbourne. This video and picture presentation is of a Bowles Sheepsweven TSDY Dutch custom built steel trawler manufactured in 1984. This motor yacht underwent a total refit in 2003 and it was carried out by the Berthon Boat Company at Limington in Hampshire. The current owners have owned the boat since 2008 and it has been the subject of further updating and refitting during their ownership. It has been the subject of annual maintenance carried out every year. It is powered by twin Rolls-Royce C6M 265 horsepower diesel engines and has a cruising range with full tanks of approximately 3,500 miles. The flybridge has a single helmsman seat, a Raymarine RL80C GPS chart plotter with a radar overlay, Commander electronic fly-by-wire throttle controls, a Hummingbird VHF radio with a cockpit speaker, a remote searchlight control, a bow thruster control, Auto helm speed, depth, and log instruments, there is also an auto helm ST6000 autopilot and wind instrument, engine instruments with an alarm panel. and a rudder indicator. The wheelhouse helm is located on the port side. There is a, an instrument switch panel. A Seafresh water maker control panel. Commander fly-by-wire throttle controls and full engine instrumentation. There is also a Fireboy automatic and manual engine room 
fire extinguisher system on board. Auto Helm multi data instrument for tri data, an Auto Helm ST7000 autopilot, an Ampliden onboard hailing intercom system. hydraulic bow thruster control and also a remote searchlight control. In the center of the screen there is a Kent Clearview screen demister. Above the helm position an alarm panel and various electrical amp and voltage display dials. There is an Onan generator on board and this shows the genset control switch, the shore power voltage and main switching for shore power and generator. The wheelhouse has two opening doors for easy access to the side decks. The saloon has a U-shaped seating area on the starboard side with a fixed table, a feature glass and drinks display cabinet and there are also steps leading to the aft cockpit. The saloon has a full entertainment system which includes a retractable satellite TV, a DVD player and CD player. Moving forward and stepping down from the inside helm position leads to the galley area which is equipped with a fold away table, an electric twin smeg burner, an Electrolux fan assisted oven, a microwave combination grill oven, a stainless steel sink with a glass lid, a dishwasher and a full-size fridge and freezer. There are also additional cupboards for storage.
This video footage was taken in July 2015 when the boat was chopped ashore for annual maintenance. This is the hydraulic bow thruster. stabilizers on either side substantial stern gear with shafts and P brackets and three bladed propellers. Twin rudders. And there is a central skeg beneath the vessel. This video footage shows the vessel at sea underway uh, on a recent trip from Sovereign Harbour Eastbourne to Brighton. To summarise the key features of this boat, it is a Dutch built steel trawler built to the Lloyd's 100A1 class specification. It has Rolls Royce engines with approximately 2,150 total running hours as of August 2015. It was designed for long distance passage making and has a cruising range of at approximately 3,500 miles. It has seven berths in three cabins, two heads including a bath in the owner's heads, radiator central heating and reverse cycle air conditioning. It is equipped with power assisted hydraulic steering fly-by-wire throttle controls, hydraulic bow thruster, hydraulic anchor windlass, Vosper stabilizers, dual station full electronics, satellite telephone system, a satellite TV system, an Onan 15 KVA generator and an inverter. Most importantly, the full annual maintenance was conducted during June and July 2015, which also included engine servicing. 
this boat has been exceptionally maintained by the current owners and it certainly has the wow factor. To be fully appreciated, you need to come and view the boat. It is normally berthed at Sovereign Harbour Eastbourne and is available for viewing by appointment. All that remains is for me to thank you for taking the time and trouble to view this video and also for visiting the Bates Wharf website.